Hello everyone, this is Dallas Johnson with Dealer Training. I want to help you identify vehicles that have damage history because many times when a vehicle is in a collision, it's going to go into what we call an insurance pool and it's issued a salvage title. And these vehicles cannot legally be driven. However, a lot of times persons will purchase these vehicles, they'll fix them up, they'll make them safe and roadworthy, and then they're going to take them to their state highway patrol or their state police. And a state highway patrol officer or a motor vehicle inspector will come out and do a very, very extensive safety inspection. They'll go through the vehicle tooth and nail to make sure that it's safe and roadworthy. They're also going to take a look at all of the receipts to make sure that all the vehicle parts were paid for. And if it is determined that that vehicle is safe and roadworthy, that state agency will actually allow that vehicle to be issued what's normally called a prior salvage vehicle title or a salvage vehicle title. So these vehicles are actually safe and roadworthy, can be driven anywhere. And you're going to see a lot of these at your dealer auctions. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to identify these because because no matter what, when you're bidding on a vehicle that ha does have some prior damage history, you need to bid accordingly because these vehicles do have less value than a vehicle that was never in a collision. So when you're in your dealer auctions, your auctioneers will be standing at a big counter and they'll be looking at a computer screen. The vehicles will be passing through at a very high paced manner and you'll be on the other side of the vehicles uh, bidding on these vehicles. But the auctioneer was going to always warn you. They're going to scream into their microphone and they're going to look down at the vehicle and they're going to say, hey, we've got front end here. We've got front end here. Or hey, everybody, we've got some unibody on this vehicle. We've got unibody on this one. Or they're going to scream into their microphone. They're going to say, hey, everyone, we've got some frame here. We've got frame on this one. And they're letting you know that you're getting ready to bid on a vehicle that has frame history or unibody history or some type of collision history. So you want to bid accordingly because that vehicle is not worth full wholesale value. So you want to definitely protect yourself and you want to bid accordingly. Now the auctioneer will always warn you. The auctioneer is going to scream into their microphone about the damage history of that vehicle. But a lot of times when you're purchasing a vehicle from an individual, the individual may not disclose this information to you. And this has happened to me before. Uh, I bought a vehicle, I bought a motorcycle one time from a gentleman and we started kind of, you know, talking about the motorcycle's history and things so much that I didn't really pay enough attention to the title like I should have. Well, I purchased a vehicle, I put it onto my trailer, took it back to my dealership and then I looked, took a look at the title and there in great big capital letters it said prior salvage right across the front. Well, legally, I could have went back and got my money back from that person that sold me that vehicle because he broke the law and he did not disclose that it had a prior salvage title. So I chalked it up as a lesson and learn and now I know when you're buying a vehicle from an individual take a look at the title you know get it in your hand make sure that that person's not trying to pass you off a vehicle with damage history without disclosing that when you're in your dealer auctions the auctioneer is going to warn you they're going to yell at you over that microphone so you need to pay attention so you will definitely know when you're bidding on a vehicle with damage history but you take have to take a couple of extra precautions when you are purchasing a vehicle from an individual so take a look at that title and make sure that person is not trying to pass off uh, some vehicle with undisclosed damage history uh, otherwise, you know, that's absolutely illegal and you want to be able to protect yourself. So thank you all very much. I would like to ask you to please subscribe to this video. Uh, hit, the, hit the like button there so we can continue to offer this information. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much. Have a good day.